Hey guys, thanks for joining me again this week on, on this study of some of the main characters through the Bible. Today we're going to look at Isaac. And if you remember from last week, we said that Isaac was the miracle child of Abraham and Sarah. How God promised them a child at an old age. And well, here he is. Now Isaac was born around 2066 B.C. and lived for approximately 180 years. Now, that's a long time. And if you're curious why people back then lived so long, shoot me an email, shoot me a text, and I'll be glad to discuss that with you. Well, with Isaac, we know he married a girl named Rebecca. We know he had children, but we're going to talk about them at a later time. Something I found interesting when I was studying this is that Isaac was the only one of the three patriarchs who was born in the promised land, lived his entire life in the promised land, and died in the promised land. See, Abraham, he, he was born outside and moved in. And Jacob was born on the inside and died in Egypt. So he, he shows himself to be a true son of promise by staying within the promised land. And I, and I guess I never really thought of that before. But you see what happens when you dive in and study? You, you find out some really cool things. So let's get back to Isaac. Now Isaac, just like his father Abraham, encountered many trials as well as many blessings. He was faithful to trust his father when things did, did not make sense. But he also spent his time meditating on God's word. He had an encounter with God, just like his father did, about his children. And, and he too had two sons that went different directions with a relationship with God. But Isaac was just a man, and, and like his father, he did some things that were not God-honoring. And if you're interested in those, Genesis chapter 26 is where you'll find some of that. So what can we learn from Isaac? He grew up trusting and loving his mother and father. And despite the division in his home growing up, he became a man of faith. Do you trust and love your parents? I hope so. And again, you can read about Isaac in Genesis in, in between uh, chapter 17 and 35. See what else you can find on Isaac when you look through those chapters. Well, like I say every week, remember, God made you, God loves you, and God wants to be your friend. So until we meet again, have a good day.